The heart is an organ that pumps blood throughout the body via the circulatory system, supplying oxygen and nutrients to the tissues and removing carbon dioxide and other wastes from them. The heart has four chambers. The upper chambers, known as the atrium, here and here, and the lower chambers, here and here, known as the ventricles. You have the right atrium, right ventricle, left atrium, and left ventricle. The heart also has some valves. So over here, between the atrium and the ventricle, there is a valve here and here. These valves between the atrium and the ventricle is known as atrioventricular valves. But they specifically have their own um, certain names. Between the right atrium and the right ventricle, we have the tricuspid valve over here and here. The valve between the left atrium and the left ventricle over here is known as the mitral valve. It is also commonly known as the bicuspid valve. The heart also has two semilunar valves over here and here, specifically known. This valve over here is called the pulmonic valve, also known as pulmonary valve. And the valve over here is called the aortic valve. They get their names because the pulmonary valve is sort of the opening towards the pulmonary artery. And the aortic valve is sort of the opening towards the aorta. The function of these valves is to prevent the backflow of blood. So the atrioventricular valves over here and the semilunar valves. Atrioventricular valves on the right hand side is a tricuspid and on the left hand side is a mitral or bicuspid. And on the right hand side we have the pulmonic valve and on the left, leading to the aorta, we have the aortic valve. When atrial diastole occurs, the valves, atrioventricular valves, are shut. During this time, blood fills in the atrium. And once there is sufficient pressure, the blood pushes through the valves and enter the ventricles. Besides the weight of the blood pushing down on the valves, another reason for the pressure is atrial systole, which causes the blood to be pushed down into the ventricles. What is meant by these two terms, diastole and systole? Diastole refers to the phase of the heartbeat when the heart muscles relax. And systole refers to the phase of the heartbeat when the heart muscles contract. So it is the contraction and the relaxation of the heart muscles, which is known as systole and diastole. It's also important to know that when the atrium is contracting, meaning it is undergoing a systole, the ventricle is undergoing a diastole. So when the blood is being pushed out here, this part of the heart is relaxing and this part of the heart is contracting. Once the ventricles are filled to a certain capacity, the ventricles would want to contract. During this season where the ventricles contract, it is trying to push the blood out into the arteries. However, during this phase, there might be some backflow of blood back into the atrium if not for this very important portion of the heart known as a valve. When ventricular systole occurs, meaning that the ventricles contract, what happens is that the blood will be pushed forward or rather pushed out with such a great force. This opens up the pulmonic and the aortic valve. So it opens up the semilunar valves and it snaps shut the atrioventricular valves. So the blood gathers behind these valves here and during 
the ventricular systole, the blood gathers here in such a fast speed that it snaps it shut. And that would be the first heart sound that you hear, a lup. The heart sound goes lup, 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 lup. So the first sound, lup, is also known as the first heart sound. And the dub is known as the second heart sound. So if the lup comes from the shutting of the atrioventricular valves, where do you think the dub sound comes from? That is right. That would be from the shutting of the semilunar valves, the pulmonic and the aortic valve. Now let's see when that happens. During ventricular systole, when the blood is pushed out here and here into the pulmonary artery and into the aorta, what happens is that this pulmonic and aortic valves are open. It's like the door is open for the blood to go out. However, during that time, since the ventricles are contracting and you don't want the blood to go back into the atrium, these atrioventricular valves are closed. So they function in opposite, um, opposite ways. When this is open, this is closed. And when this is open, this would be closed. So when are the semilunar valves closed? They will be closed during ventricular diastole, meaning when the ventricles are filling up with blood, the blood is flowing from the atrium into the ventricles, there is a lower pressure here. When there is a lower pressure here, what it would do is it would pull back the blood. Since it's relaxing, the blood tends to be pulled back from here all the way down and from the aorta all the way down however these valves they close shut so since they close shut it prevents the blood from flowing back into the ventricles preventing the backflow of blood and these valves do not close gently the closing of the semilunar valves causes the sound duck and the closing of the atrioventricular valves causes the sound lup. Let's have a look at this picture. So over here you see that the blood is being pumped down into the ventricles. This means that the atrium is contracting, pushing it down, and the ventricles are relaxing. So the atrium is undergoing systole and the ventricles are undergoing diastole. During this atrial systole and ventricular diastole, There are a few things that occur simultaneously. What happens is that number one, the tricuspid valve and the mitral valve, the, they open. So the tricuspid and the mitral valve, also known as the bicuspid valve, they open. These valves in general are called the atrioventricular valves. That's right. The atrioventricular valves open and during the same time, the semilunar valves, here the pulmonic valve and the aortic valve, they snap shut. So the semilunar valves closes when the ventricles relax. And this results in the dub sound. That's right. So what results in the lap sound? When the ventricles contract, over here, it pushes the blood out, the semilunar valves. And it causes the atrioventricular valves to snap shut, preventing the backflow of blood back into the atrium. So the atrioventricular valves are closed at this time, and the semilunar valves are open. The shutting of the uh, atrioventricular valves causes the loud lap sound. The constant shutting of the 
atrioventricular valves causes the lap and the constant shutting of the semilunar valves causes the dub sound. So it goes lip dub, lip dub, lip dub.